Hello, I'm Alan Bacon. I, I live in Bellingdon. Um, we moved to Chesham in 1980 and then to Bellingdon in 1991. Um, so we're, we're long time, long time residents. I'm on Chesham Town Council representing Lowndes Ward um, and Buckinghamshire Council representing Chiltern Ridges Ward. Before that, I was on the old Chiltern District Council for a number of years. Well, as Liberal Democrats, we are very concerned about social inequality in, in Buckinghamshire as in society at large. We, we think of Buckinghamshire as a very wealthy county, and on the whole it is, but there are pockets of deprivation. Report from the Director of Public Health this last year is shot through with references to social inequality and the effects that, that has on health. Planning is uh, a, always a very big issue here in the Chilterns. A um, lot of concern about the Green Belt and the area of outstanding natural beauty. Um, but also, on the other hand, um, the need for new new housing. So there's, there's always an issue about um, where, where new housing is going to go. But in drawing up the local plan, decisions will have to be made about car parking in the town centre, how much retail in the town centre, people living in the town centre, um, provision of facilities in the town centre, climate change and how the council deals with climate change. At the moment, um, Buckinghamshire Council is adopting a, well, we'll, let, we'll sort it out by 2050. Um, the Liberal Democrat position has been that that's not soon enough, that we need to do it more urgently than that. And then ongoing issues with, with roads. I mean, constant dissatisfaction with road highway maintenance um, in all its aspects I and mean, potholes and flooding and, and so on. I, I would hope that if we have a Liberal Democrat administration following the elections, then we will look long and hard at the budget um, and come up with a different budget, that we will look to reduce waste, to ensure that road maintenance is carried out more effectively and more cheaply, and that we address social inequalities, particularly in the area of health.